I've had an absolute fascination with sharks since I was a little kid. I knew I wanted to be a marine biologist by the time I was five, and I got to snorkel with my first shark when I was about eight years old, and I was literally hooked on these awesome animals. I'm Jillian Morris. I am a shark conservationist, a shark diver, and an underwater videographer. I've traveled all over the world, and I have to say that Bimini has some of the bluest waters I've ever seen. All different shades. Some people joke about the 50 shades of blue in Bimini. The island is really, really small. It's about six miles long, but the world just below the surface is really what's incredible. That blue, crystal clear water is teeming with marine life and is the reason why we live on this tiny little island. The Great Hammerhead dive site is about a quarter of a mile offshore. It's a place where in very shallow water, you're able to get in and see these very large sharks up close and personal. It's very rare to actually be able to be in the water with so many of them like we can here in Bimini, especially in crystal clear shallow water. Unfortunately, sharks get a really bad reputation. They're not man-eating monsters. They're not mindless eating machines. They're actually really intelligent, social, incredible animals. They're also really incredible for the health of our oceans, which all of us rely on every single day. There's something really special about hammerheads. I have been in the water with some very big sharks, including great whites and tiger sharks, but nothing compares to the great hammerhead. The way they move, their power, their grace, they can turn on a dime, and they have those wide set eyes. They're my favorite animal on the planet, and being able to dive with them as much as we do, I feel really, really lucky. I recently told somebody that getting attacked by a shark was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. They're like, that's absurd, or that, you know, why would you say that? I've had incredible opportunities. I've been able to visit some really cool places, meet some incredible people. All these things have been nurtured from this shark attack. I think it's really made me who I am today. My name is Mike Coots. I live in the island of Kauai in Hawaii. I'm a surfer, photographer, and shark attack survivor. There's some really great surf spots out here. I was 18 years old surfing here on Kauai with some friends and it was early in the morning and I paddled out and thought I was gonna have a surf session like any other day and it was a lot different. I got attacked by a tiger shark. As soon as I hit it, it let go and, and disappeared back underwater and I remember passing out basically as soon as we got to the hospital and I woke up a day and a half later and amputee. I got my first prosthetic six months after the shark attack. Early on, you think you can't do this, you think you can't do that, you know, there's these physical limitations on life, and I didn't think I could drive a truck with a stick shift. And you learn how to drive a truck with a stick shift, and you're like, wow, that was cool. And you build up these little things, like, day to day to day. After a while, it's like, bring it on. What, what can happen that I can't figure out how to do? I was in college, and I remember class got out. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, take a longboard, I'm gonna get the biggest board I can find and just take my prosthetic in the water and see what happens. I caught a wave and I was screaming pretty loud. I was like, what, this is cool, this is amazing. And I think that was like the best wave I had ever caught in my life. From then on, I started figuring out, okay, what's gonna break? What can I make that's a foot that'll help me surf even better? And trying to basically make the ultimate surfing foot. I think I, I'm doing it because it's fun, but I'm also, it's this learning experience and it's taking this information and passing it on to people that want to surf with a prosthetic. The ocean has taken a lot for me, but what it's given back to me has been immeasurable. I've lost, you know, nearly my life to a shark, yet I really believe sharks are one of the, if not the most important species in our marine ecosystem. And at the rate that they're being killed off, they're not gonna be around in 10, 15, 20 years. And why not use something that could, I guess, be set as a negative and, and turn into a positive? The shark attack's been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me.